it is time to get our turkey on the grill. And you can see we have it upside down. And let me give you a story on how and why I do that. So Jim Stevens' father, George, who invented the original Weber kettle, was telling me about his most moist and flavorful turkey. So I asked him, Jim, how did you do that? He goes, I put it on the grill, and by mistake, halfway through, I looked at it, and it was upside down. So I turned it right side up, and he goes, it was the most moist, flavorful turkey I've ever cooked. So naturally, I had to do what he did. So I put mine on that way, and ever since, you won't find me cooking my turkey any other way. But that's enough talking. It's time to get our turkey on the grill. And we're gonna be placing that in the center, under indirect heat, and allow the grill to do what it was designed to do, and that's cook the perfect turkey. We've got our eye grill probes already inside that are monitoring our turkey. We've got the lid closed. I'm gonna take my gloves off. I'm gonna go in and relax inside. The eye grill is doing the heavy lifting. I'm gonna set an alarm for an hour and we're gonna come back and check the temperature. You are halfway there to your perfectly grilled turkey. Now it's time to rotate it right side up. So we've got it on our grill. We've taken it off. We're going to rotate our turkey right off this roast holder and you can see We've already got some great color coming to the bottom. But what we want to do is enhance the color of this outside. So I'm going to get a little bit of olive oil because I want to bring out that beautiful color of this skin. I want it nice and crispy, beautiful golden brown, and that olive oil is going to help do that. So we've got some salt. Add some pepper for a little bit of spice and some nice color and we're gonna finish it off with the fresh herbs that we put on at the beginning. So now you have two options. You can continue to cook it in your roast holder or you can put it directly on the grill. I'm gonna put it directly on the grill because if you don't have a roast holder, we need to show you exactly how to get it on and off. I am going to use a set of tongs and I'm gonna use a spatula which makes transporting it back to the grill nice and easy. We're gonna put the tongs directly in the cavity. I'm gonna take the spatula, put it underneath. I'm gonna transport it directly back on the grill, making sure we get it directly in the middle of the grill. Make sure our probes are in our eye grill. Get our lid set and we're gonna to continue to cook. And the most important thing we need to pay attention to now is our eye grill. We need the temperatures to be 165 degrees in the breast and 180 in the thigh. Congratulations, the eye grill alarm just went off signaling our turkey is done. All of your hard work, time, and energy is gonna be showcased now with the way this turkey looks. And check out that golden brown color, it looks amazing. So now our job is to get it off the grill and get it resting. So I'm gonna use my tongs and my spatula and we're gonna get our turkey off. Now is an important step and we need this turkey to rest for about 30 to 45 minutes. That will allow the juices to run back in, making it more flavorful, more tender, and more moist. Also, you wanna bring the eye grill thermometer inside. You don't want this turkey to drop below 145 degrees while it's resting. So I'm gonna grab the turkey, the eye grill, and I'm gonna meet you inside. 